It's my feel-good breakfast show. We've got educational psychologist Anel Annandale here with us talking to us about how to handle matric exam stress for all of our matrics that are preparing for the finals. We had a caller, uh, Vainant, earlier on, Anel, who asked, and I know that it's, it's, a, it's a technique that's applied by many principals out there in schools where they say, you know, if, if you guys didn't get 100% for the prelim exams, then nobody's right, you guys aren't allowed to write the finals. Of course, I mean, how fair is that? And maybe you can maybe talk to, you know, some of the leaders of schools out there to maybe have a bit more of a, of a softer side to their approach. And as you say, it's a technique. Mm. Um, it's not something that they can implement, so don't stress about it, Vainant. It's not going to happen. But exactly that. I think quite often out of frustration, principals try and do this. I mean, it really is important for them to see that they, you know, the children in their school do well. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, again, same with principals. Maybe be teacher light, principal light yeah. for the next, you know, the next couple of uh, weeks. I think what's massively important for all matrix is to start realizing from this moment on, yes. it's about you. Not about anyone else, not about a principal or your mm. parents. Just focus on what you need to do. Let's quickly spoke, speak about effective study techniques. They differ from person to person. And I think quite often a lot of metrics don't really know what works for them. Uh -huh. So find out immediately what works the best for you. Can you study with music? And be careful there, Matrix. Very few people really can. I think the mm. research has shown that only 6% of the population can actually study with music. Mm -hmm. um, make sure that you've, you start preparing now. The biggest thing is often the volume of work and not the difficulty. Yeah. So make sure you've got your notes beforehand. Make sure you've got a timetable. You stick to your timetable. Take regular breaks, try and maintain a balance. All of those things are important. Yeah. Also very importantly is diet at this time when you're trying to feed your brain everything that it needs in order to support your study, right? It is, absolutely. Make sure you get all your necessary vitamins. We, the last thing you want to do right now is get sick. Um, <laughs> terrible. But also make sure that you block out sugar. Sugar's not great, so lessen that. Okay, bit. lessen that. And then finally, <laughs> some, maybe some last tips that you can share with us on how to avoid that stress, that anxiety just before the exam or whenever it might occur. There are some amazing techniques, things like meditation, uh, mindfulness exercises, progressive relaxation, which is really easy. You start from your toes yeah. and you just progressively tense and relax your muscles as you go up your legs, then you go up to your trunk and your arms. Just take a couple of minutes. <laughs> And you should be all relaxed. That kind of helped a little bit. That was nice. That was <laughs> nice. Okay. So it's called progressive relaxation. Thank you so, so much. And I really hope that uh, our matrix really took uh, some good words of advice for, uh, from you. But know that we are here supporting you. My goodness. If you have some questions, uh, ask them to us on uh, our Expresso Morning Show SABC3 Facebook page. And we'll see if we can get Anel to answer them for you.